At a recent Georgia Tech commencement, Kansas City Chiefs kicker Harrison Butker delivered an unexpected piece of advice. Place marriage and family above all else. Famous for his clutch kicks, Butker stressed that personal milestones and riches are insignificant without meaningful relationships. He underscored the necessity of battling loneliness and depression through enduring commitments and profound connections, standing in stark contrast to the current cultural emphasis on personal success and independence. Don't miss, why does Butker believe marriage and family are important? How does Butker describe the impact of modern technology on young adults' mental health? What cultural issues does Butker criticize in his speech? It is important to use today as an opportunity to take stock of your mission. Our culture is suffering. We all see it. Our culture is suffering. We all see it. Recognizing shared worries about today's societal climate, people emphasize the importance of upholding traditional values. They view the deterioration of moral and social standards as an urgent and pressing concern. It doesn't matter which political persuasion you sit on or whether you are a person of deep faith or not. Anyone with eyes can see that something is off. Anyone with eyes can see that something is off. Highlighting the widespread recognition of social issues, it's clear and unquestionable that major shifts are essential to tackle this evident deterioration. Studies have shown one of the many negative effects of the pandemic is that a lot of young adults feel a sense of loneliness, anxiety, and depression, despite technology that has connected us more than ever before. A lot of young adults feel a sense of loneliness, anxiety, and depression, despite technology that has connected us more than ever before. The irony of our hyper-connected world is that it often leaves us feeling more isolated. Many people view this as a shortcoming of contemporary societal values, which seem to favor digital exchanges over deep, genuine connections. It would seem the more connected people are to one another, the more they feel alone. The more connected people are to one another, the more they feel alone. Superficial connections forged through technology fall short of fulfilling our profound need for genuine community and belonging. It's imperative that we rekindle face-to-face -face interactions and reinforce the bonds with our families and communities. I'm not sure the root of this, but at least I can offer one controversial antidote that I believe will have a lasting impact for generations to come. Get married and start a family. Wow. I will say this is the, the most important ring I have right here. Having kicked the game-winning field goal in both the AFC Championship and the Super Bowl, I have received a great deal of praise for these successes. Having kicked the game-winning field goal in both the AFC Championship and the Super Bowl, I have received a great deal of praise for these successes. Recognizing personal accomplishments and the honors they bring is important. While we celebrate hard work and triumph, these successes are often fleeting and pale in comparison to the dedication required for a more profound and meaningful existence. They just announced that this Super Bowl was the most watched football game of all time, and yet all of this happiness is temporary. All of this happiness is temporary. The fleeting essence of worldly success and joy contrasts with the enduring belief that true, lasting achievement arises not from short-lived victories, but from unwavering values and steadfast dedication. And the truth is, none of these accomplishments mean anything compared to the happiness I have found in my marriage and in starting a family. None of these accomplishments mean anything compared to the happiness I have found in my marriage and in starting a family. Conservatives emphasize the profound and lasting happiness that family life brings, valuing familial bonds, the significance of marriage, and the nurturing of children over professional accomplishment. My confidence as a husband and father, and yes, even as a football player, is rooted in my marriage with my wife, as we leave our mark on future generations by the children we bring into the world. My confidence as a husband and father, is rooted in my marriage with my wife as we leave our mark on future generations by the children we bring into the world. Understanding the significance of family heritage and the crucial role a strong marriage plays in shaping the lives of future generations is paramount. The family serves as the cornerstone of society, essential for building a stable and thriving future. 
How much greater of a legacy can anyone leave than that? How much greater of a legacy can anyone leave than that? Is there any task more vital, any contribution more profound than the act of raising and nurturing the next generation? This belief holds that shaping young lives surpasses all professional and personal achievements. Sadly, we are encouraged to live our lives for ourselves, to move from one thing to another with no long-term commitment, to have loyalty for nothing but ourselves and sacrifice only when it suits our own interests. We are encouraged to live our lives for ourselves, to have loyalty for nothing but ourselves and sacrifice only when it suits our own interests. This critique of contemporary self-centered living aligns with democratic ideals that emphasize altruism, responsibility, and enduring commitment rather than selfish ambitions and fleeting pleasures. This loneliness is rooted in the lies being sold about self-dependence and prioritizing our career over important relationships. This loneliness is rooted in the lies being sold about self-dependence and prioritizing our career over important relationships. Questioning the modern belief that independence and career triumphs are the pinnacle of success. Instead, genuine accomplishment lies in valuing relationships, fostering communities, and nurturing families above professional and material gains. In his recent commencement speech at Georgia Tech, Kansas City Chiefs kicker Harrison Butker delivered a compelling message, get married, start a family. Butker delved into the cultural issues of loneliness and disconnection, arguing that deep, personal relationships are vital for a fulfilling life. He juxtaposed the fleeting joy of his sports achievements with the enduring happiness he finds in his family, encouraging graduates to find purpose through lasting commitments. His perspective challenges the modern focus on self-reliance and career success, instead highlighting the timeless importance of family and relationship. Harrison Butker's championing of traditional family values resonates deeply. His advice to get married and start a family underscores a conservative ideal that roots social welfare in family stability and long-term commitment. Butker draws a stark contrast between the enduring fulfillment found in marriage and family life and the fleeting satisfaction derived from career success and material gain. This perspective aligns with his belief in the essential role of strong family units as the bedrock of a healthy society. Bucker's critique of modern culture is sharp and unyielding. He highlights the pervasive loneliness, anxiety, and depression among young adults despite the advent of technological connectivity. This, he argues, signifies a deeper crisis of meaning and authenticity in contemporary life. His call to prioritize meaningful relationships over self-centered pursuits echoes his broader appeal for genuine connections and commitments as remedies for anxiety and societal unease. The impact of Butker's discourse on the dehumanization and polarization of today's political landscape is profound. He decries the erosion of respect and pluralistic thought, framing it as a symptom of an inauthentic existence where people are reduced to their group identities rather than being valued for their inherent humanity. Butker's insistence on maintaining courage against societal pressures and preserving one's integrity and freedom of thought underscores the importance of individual authenticity and resistance to conformist trends. Moreover, Butker's emphasis on faith and creativity as sources of intrinsic value resonates with conservative views on finding meaning through spiritual and religious avenues. Reflecting on this higher purpose, he suggests, offers stability and direction, countering the pervasive sense of emptiness in a secular, career-focused society. His message encourages deep contemplation on how such beliefs can anchor us amidst the superficiality of modern life. What do you think?